Hello, this is Annette with Project Refine Life. Welcome to my channel and this unboxing of a wee star in the Forest of Precious Twigs Oracle Deck by Trisha Murray. This is the same creator as Remembering the Sweet Fool Tarot. If you've been watching my channel, you would have seen this deck in the past few months because I got this deck in and I love it. It is so special. It is so meaningful to me. And working with it, it just, it, it's, it's amazing. It really is amazing. I had been watching this creator's other Oracle decks for quite some time, but just had not ordered them because of the shipping charges. She is in the UK, and so shipping over here is quite expensive. But I had to go for it when I saw this tarot deck. After working with this tarot deck, the shipping was completely worth it for me because of the nature of the deck. Recently, I was watching Ever's channel over at Ever Onward. If you haven't checked out her channel yet, I will leave her link below because I really, truly enjoy her content. I really love the way that she speaks, the way that she carries herself, the way that she describes things. It's just beautiful. But she was asking, like, or just stating rather that she couldn't really put a description to this particular deck. And so I had left a comment that for me, it's a very shamanic deck. It makes you take a moment and think and just draw in to your innermost feelings and thoughts and connections with nature and how to work with it. Long story short, <laughs> this creator had other Oracle decks previously, which I did not order. And so after I got this tarot deck, it was like imperative to me that I got a hold of one of her Oracle decks. And during that time, she stated that she was bringing back two of her previous Oracle decks and creating them into one. So she had a We Star Oracle and a forest of precious twigs. So now this deck is called A Wee Star in the Forest of Precious Twigs. And she's stating on her Etsy site that it presents a unique source of guidance, inspiration, and healing to support you as you journey to gather and reclaim more of yourself in all that lies deep within treasures waiting to be found. I was all on board. I wanted the other two decks for quite some time, never ordered them, like I said, because of shipping. But now I've got the best of both worlds because both of those decks have been put into this one deck. Now I do have one regret, <laughs> and that is that she does have this one other little deck, which are just words. And it's only like 22 US dollars and I didn't get it with this, and I should have, because shipping is gonna cost me just as much if I ever decide to order that deck. So there's my regret. <laughs> I should have just went ahead and done it, but I'm, you know, I'm trying to be frugal here, guys. I've got a daughter who's in her senior year of high school, and we're looking at colleges, so yeah, we're I'm trying to watch every single penny at this point. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. I ordered this at the very beginning of the month and the updates from the um, tracking from the UK are horrible. <laughs> it still says that it was just checked in. So I don't know exactly what that means. So here's a little card from her and she just wrote, thank you. Beautiful, I love it. All right, and I like the packaging that she used, very recyclable, everything's recyclable. The peanuts, of course, are styrofoam, but she was trying to protect the deck. And then this is the Empress from Remembering the Sweet Fool Tarot, which I love the size of this because I can copy this and I can put this into my pocket planner, which I'm really, oh my gosh, look at the sizing is beautiful. I'm just gonna be able to copy it and cause I don't wanna mess up the original and put it into my pocket planner. So let me go ahead and move this 
And now that that's off to the side, let's go ahead and open this up. She really did use nice packaging to make sure that the deck got here in good shape. Oh, look at just a simple little star. I love just the, the nature type feeling that you get, the respect for clean lines and, and all this beauty that is just within the simplicity of things. Okay, here's the deck, guys. A wee star in the forest of precious twigs by Trisha Murray. Together we make more. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so let's see here. I, you know what? I don't even know how many cards are in here. Let me look. Oh, there are 68 cards numbered zero through 66. And she chose to keep both the original zero cards. So there are actually two. Oh, okay. So from the two other Oracle decks, she kept both zeros. So therefore there are a total of 68 cards in the deck, which contain two zeros to keep both of the cards from the, both of the zero cards from her other previous Oracle decks. And this, it says, we stand together, but not apart. We are complete where we meet, adding to and making more. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. She is such a wonderful artist. It is beautiful. Okay, so she has a couple of spreads here, a four card and a nine card spread. Um, here is a story of some of me. So I'm going to go ahead and read that later because I will definitely need my glasses for it, but completely worth it. A little piece of me that births a forest. Oh, I'm interested in reading that. Okay, so here we go. This is the beginning of the deck. Let me just make sure. Yes, okay. Okay, so I, <laughs> to be honest, I am not completely sure how this works. Let me just give this a quick looking at. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so there is no guidebook, obviously. And then on the back, here's the meaning of the card. And this on the front is the art. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. So I don't know how to do this. I'll do it this way. All right. So I'm just going to start the flip through. This is a lot of cards. So I'm going to do this as quickly as I can. Remember, I'm taking this in for the first time as well. So if it is too slow for you, please go ahead and speed up the playback or, um, you know, just take your time, get some coffee. <laughs> Let's relax. Let's chill for a little bit. All right, here we go.
You guys, I am extremely just blown away by the art. I haven't had a chance to read the back. As I was flipping through, I kind of glanced at some of the words on the back of these cards. And um, it is such a beautiful deck. Just within the art itself, let me try to open up this window a little bit because the sun is kind of peeking in and out behind the clouds today. The art itself is so evocative. Look at this beautiful, beautiful art. Like just that alone, for me, there's so much within this. There's so much that can be gathered. And there are so many emotions within this art. You know, I, I think you can see that within the flip through, I kind of came back to some of these because I'm like, wait a minute, you know, what's going on with this, with this creature here? And so there's different phases, as you can see, where it or they are experiencing sections of the forest and, and moving with other beings maybe as their guide, maybe as a youngster. I, you know, I don't know. I haven't read the back, like I stated, but there's so much to work through with this deck. I can see it already. I love the tones. And just by the poetry that is involved with the tarot deck, I already know that I'm going to love what I see. And as a matter of fact, and I think I shared it a couple of months ago, where I'm so touched by the poetry in the tarot deck that I don't want to mess with that particular energy that's created within the guidebook and the emotions within the images. So what I do with that particular guidebook is I just copy the guidebook and put the guidebook entries as is into my readings. And then I sit with it and meditate based on that. So that's kind of how I use that deck. And I can see that with this deck, I'm probably going to be doing the same thing, but there are so many different phases and emotions that, that can be worked with on this. Now, I didn't bring out any decks as far as um, pairings. I will put it up against the tarot deck by the same creator. I can see how it would work with quite a few decks that I have, but I don't want to do that at this point with this deck because this particular deck and combined with the tarot deck, it has a very specific energy and I respect it. I really do. I, I would like to know how she creates these images and then the poetry to go along with them. You know, is she journeying? Is, you know, what is she experiencing? What is she doing? Because these are deep. These are really, really deep. I mean, look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I'm going to read this one because I was really interested in that. I hold open the gateway between life and death, allowing it to flow freely through me. Spirit delivered to flesh and bone, blood and deeply chosen breath. Now, down here on the bottom, and I'm sure when I read the little um, instructions here, or I don't know if they're instructions exactly, but into it a little bit, on the bottom here, on the back, you can see that there are different phases. So you have movement, immersion, you have awareness, again, movement, growth, growth, movement, growth, movement. I'm kind of like pushing through this here. So it seems like you have growth, immersion, awareness. So that's, that's it. 
it looks like that's it. Um, and the whole deck, it looks like the whole deck has that. So tapping into those basic feelings of growth, movement, and awareness as you travel through working with this deck. Wow, it's a beauty. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan the camera back up because I wanted you to get a good view of this so that way we can pair it up with the tarot deck and we can see the way that it shuffles and the way that they look together. All right, so I went ahead and cleansed my deck and spent a moment with it. And before we move on to seeing what it looks like um, up against the tarot deck by the same creator, I wanted to bring your attention to the box. So the box is very nicely made, nothing inside. It does not contain the little notch holes on the side. That's my official name for whatever those things are called. I call them notch holes. So um, there's no notch holes, but you can kind of shake it and it does open up. It is the same type of box situation with remembering the sweet fool there's no notch holes but as you can see there is enough space on the side so that way it opens easily with or without the contents in the box all right so this is the tarot deck if you have not seen my full walkthrough please go and watch it because it's a special one, I really do. Did I do a walkthrough? See, I'm saying that I did a walkthrough. I can't even remember whether or not I did. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and shuffle. So first an overhand shuffle because this is, as you can see, because it's 68 cards, it's pretty hefty, but I'm gonna have to riffle it. So I might have to cut this in half. Let me see. I thought I was gonna have to, nope. I don't have to quarter it. Check that out, guys. Okay. The cardstock, I'm not quite sure what the cardstock is. I don't think she actually talks about the cardstock within the Etsy listing, but the cardstock on the tarot deck, as well as this, they're both the same and really, really nice. I Let me see. Let me see if she says here. All right, according to the Etsy site, she states that the 68 cards are created from an original charcoal and graphite drawings. And they, the wee bit collage is a hand printing. The cards are 2.75 by 4.75 inches. They are 400 GSM smooth matte finish calder satin i don't know what that means but they're lovely to work with i really like them um very very pretty very very nice lisa papez has a whole video on cardstock and what that means to you <laughs> so um i suggest if you're curious about cardstock and the differences to take a look at her video because she did a fantastic job explaining all of that. Did I remember any of it? No, not really, as you can tell. But um, here we are. All right. This is still in the front. How did that happen? Let me go ahead and give it another little shuffle here. There we go. There's a little bow. And maybe because I don't really do that whole riffle thing and I do not bridge the decks because I I just don't. Um, that'll probably straighten out within time. And I'm probably a little rough on it as well. And it is a big deck, so I don't know. I haven't had that experience so far with this deck, but it's the exact same finish, which is absolutely lovely. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Wow, this is almost as many cards as our tarot deck, guys. So, oh, my hair everywhere. Okay. Um, this card, I really like this. It's the chakras. Let me see what it says here. Respect all aspects of your sacred being as equal, allowing each to illustrate your story in its own unique way. Listen as they all bring a message to be heard. Give them equal attention and space like the colors of a diverse palette. And that's under movement. Beautiful. Okay. 
So let's just pair these up real quick. Well, of course they go well, right? And I don't really pair up decks that are by the same creator, but this is gonna be one of the exceptions. I really don't do that very often. This is gonna be one of the exceptions because look at this. This is absolutely stunning. This is beautiful. And I want the specific energy that she's created within this tarot deck and I can feel it within this Oracle deck. I want that continuous energy. I do not want that broken in most cases, probably working with this deck. Um, I have worked with the Remembering the Sweet Fool with the Sacred Nature Oracle uh, by Holly Wilmoth. And I do love the overall flow within the energy of the reading. So that, like those two go really well for me. But this, this is absolutely lovely. So I can do some really, really deep and beautiful work with these two together, as you can see. So I've done a couple of readings and I'm pairing these up. Let me see here, because some of these cards here, they, as you can see, they go through these cycles of really light and really dark and then, you know, lighter tones in general. And I did see that as well here. Boy, I have really, okay, this was another one. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm getting distracted, but as I lie here, quiet and still, pinned under the weight of being hiding from the world, I hear your boots walking over my head, all puffed up and separated, your heart shield made of lead, but still I see you, a small child, trying so hard to control the world in your desperate attempt to feel safe. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys. There's, there's some deep work to be done with this deck. And I'm sorry if that was a trigger for anybody, but this is a, this is a very deep deck. And I really didn't expect those kind of tones from it, but I'm glad that they're here. And when I saw this as I was doing the flip through, I thought, oh, I have to, I have to look into that. And we don't know if it's a person, we don't know if it's a spirit or the idea of um, something from another plane, another dimension. I can see like a face here within it. There's a lot to go into here. Ugh, okay. Um, let me go ahead and do this one as well. Can we open our hearts to hear the call of a new song? For the one we learned has played too long. Its words give form to each and every breath and held us captive in every cell. See, this breath right here, in Mayan cosmology, let me show you, let me give you an example. Oh, nope, that's not it. There are pictures within Mayan cosmology where there's things coming out of their mouth, and when there's little shapes coming out of their mouth, that's either feelings or thoughts or speaking a language. You know, there, there's that emotion, that, that, that um, indication that there is something traveling. And um, this kind of refers to that as well. So that is, that is beautiful. I, I, I wanna read through all of these and I really, <laughs> I really don't have the time to do that. And I, I don't wanna hold you guys here, but move away from separation. Take the hand of your shadow self, look into your eyes and see what challenges you most. These are the wounds that need to be healed. You both hold many gifts. That is beautiful because that's what I'm always talking about. Like don't, when, when you're working on 
shadow work. Don't disregard it. Don't try to just push it away. Don't try to lock it up and stick it in some box because you need a certain portion of that aspect of yourself. It's there for a reason and you just need to figure out how, when, why do I work with this? So this is just amazing. This is another one that really called to me. Oh my goodness. I dance with the joyous spirits of life as I remember who I am. Oh, and I love the reason that this one caught the attention. My attention was this movement here as for one. And then everything has this movement even around her, as you can see, like everything is is moving with her, but then she has these little bits of color of celebration of opening. Wow, beautiful. This is another one. Oh my goodness, I can't keep doing this, guys, so I'm not going to. But I think you guys get the idea at this point. I can't stop looking at this one because this one really grabbed my attention um, as we were flipping through. Where are the edges of your box that keep you confined? Who created them? What judgments are limiting your growth? Allow space and break free. The possibilities are infinite. Do not be afraid of the unstructured places. Create your own path. And as you can see here, this looks like a seed that finally got too much, like it was growing. It was bound to grow, right? It did the work and busted out of its shell, its seed, and was confined, so found a way out in order to dig in, to ground, and to find another way to grow because this was too structured. It was too confining. So that was my initial thought. And yeah, it's there. But I mean, that I guess that would be an, ordinarily, an ordinary thought with that. But anywho, this is beautiful. I'm really excited to have it. This is um, a deck that, like I said, I wanted for a long time. And after working with Remembering the Sweet Fool, it was obvious to me that I, I really needed her Oracle deck just because of the deep work that I get from working with this tarot deck. I'm so excited to work with this Oracle deck as well. And by the way, if you saw this scratch, you know, these are the hazards of cleaning your oven. You know, sometimes you get scratched. So there we go. That's, <laughs> I meant to say something about it at the beginning of the video, but there it is. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day and I will see you later.